He's Listen. working with me. Listening? Listen. Yeah. There's something solid right there, look. And it's not a pipe, right? It's not a pipe, it's kind of a stone. Oh man. I'm gonna get out of there, give me some time. What is it? I don't know. But uh, hey, you gotta back up, this is right place, it's hard to dig in it. Move baby, I want daddy's working. You want my little garden shovel? Yeah, can you do it for me? Yeah. And this is weird that even they want to dig here. It is strange. What does that tell you? In that same spot, baby. How weird. She hasn't done this anywhere else. Ever. Well, they don't dig. No. What the world? What do you find, baby? Please tell me it's not a dead body. <laughs>gone to Lowe's and I have hit the mother load. The orchard is coming. Yes, and I'm so, so, so excited. We're gonna plant the orchard today. It's huge. Everyone's excited. Let's go. Okay, I am home from my adventure to Lowe's and tractor supply and I have the beginnings, the beginnings of my orchard. We have Two fig tree, two peach tree, two apple tree, two plum trees, peach, apple, oh, two pear trees, and this is the best part. This is actually my favorite part. These are grapevines. Fredonia. Fredonia? Huh. Okay. That is going to go along the ridge. So next up, gun smoke. We got to go figure out where all these trees are going to go. I have read instructions to know a little bit more about it and there's two of each so that they can pollinate better. So lots of, excuse me, fireball. That's, that's not for you. That's not a jungle gym for kitties. Okay. No, get out of there. Stop it. Stop it. Fireball. Stop it. No, get, oh, it's time to move. Okay. I'm pulling the truck out, that's it. So I have had my eye on this patch of ground for a while. Reason number one is when the gutters drain, it drains right here. And this ground actually stays very moist. Kind of important in Texas because, you know, we lived through a whole year of drought so far. And now that it's starting to rain a little bit more, grass is starting to grow. But for a while there, if I had planted anything in the spring like this, it wouldn't have survived. Um, another thing, this plant right here is called wisteria. It is poison to all of our animals. That was here when we got here. I would actually like Lester to put a chain around that and pull it out and get rid of it. So I could see myself putting at least six trees here. I think there's plenty of space for six, maybe even eight if I go down the slope a little bit. So that's probably a pretty good plan so far. All right, so I mowed this tiny little patch, you can see where I stopped mowing. Mowing is Lester's job. I just wanted this area right here to be prepared so now I can go set my plants up. Okay, that's my idea. So they're lined up. We have peach, apple, pear, plum, and of course their partners are across the way here. So this is my beginning of my orchard. Like I said, that wisteria plant has got to go. I want to take you out a little bit here to look at the symmetry and you tell me what you think. And I still got to find a place for the figs. So Why do you look so unimpressed there, Debbie? Or are you just dreaming about all the time that you're going to eat that? So I like symmetry as much as anybody. Maybe don't demand it as much as Lester does. But I wanted this side to be inward just a little bit because of this side. I know that's a lot to ask, but I hope. Millie, what do you think, baby? Okay, slight change of plans. I went back and measured and boy was I wrong. I don't know what I was thinking, but they were not 30 yard, 30 feet apart. They were about 13. So this way, they are staggered a little bit more. Don't eat that tilly. That's gonna be a problem that's still coming out and it goes all the way around this side the neat part is I was able to incorporate the fig 
and I gotta move one of these up a little bit. But I like the way that it spins around and then when I get the other ones that I'm buying, don't tell Lester, I can make a third row. Super excited about that. Okay, oh boy, she's a little wobbly up here. So we have pears and figs, we have plums, then we have apples, and then we have peaches. I'm gonna get kumquats and nectarines and avocado and lemon and yeah, I'm gonna need a big old fence. <laughs> but really, these are things that we eat. These are things that our animals will eat. I can make jellies, I can make jams, I can can some of this stuff. Like, I'm really excited about this. I know you are too, Fee. I know you are too. Next up is digging. A lot of digging to do. So Lester's almost done with mowing. I'm gonna get us a ice cold beverage and then we'll get started. Look at my hero here. Right here. So one thing we gotta do is be super careful because we don't know where water lines go. Kind of a little bit of a gamble here. You can see that Tilly was here. We're gonna have Tilly problems. Tilly might become a goat really quick. She just doesn't even know it yet. Just for a while till I get my fence built. Just for a while, don't freak out. I know, <laughs> that's the hardest part is knowing that you're, we're messing up something that we've prayed so hard for to come back. <laughs> Lester just told me he's going to tickle my tree. And I don't think that he meant that in a naughty way. Tickle the roots. <laughs> you got to wake them up and get them to break from their... Yeah, so they've been growing in that pot probably for quite some time. And what that does is allow it to reach out and touch someone. Not in a naughty way there, Fee. Here, let me have this box cutter. Thank you. you hear that? Oh, you need it. I promise I'm not gonna stand here and hold the camera the whole time. I just wanted to show you, show them one, show what we do here. Well, AKA, figure out what we do figure here. Figure out what we're doing here. We don't know what we're doing. <laughs> it's set on that tag to plant it one inch above ground. Okay, baby. I got love right now, sweetie. <laughs> a lot of help here. A lot of. Sweetie. <laughs> She's like, I don't want you to put up a fence. I don't want you to plant the plant. Is that an inch above ground? I think it might be. A little bit low, but okay. Now what I heard is you gotta mix up this soil with the soil around it. That's what I heard too. Otherwise it's just gonna do the same thing it did in the pot. Yeah. We gotta mix all this in. I did good. watch a few Cog Hill videos. I think it looks good. I think we bought way too much potting soil. No, because I have other I have other plans. Don't worry. Tilly? Nobody invited you to this. That's not a toy. It pretty much says, don't put your face in that bag. It's not, it's not for dogs. Oh my gosh, don't do it to her. Girls, no, that's not for you. I love you, but that's not for you. Thank you, thank you. That's for mom. Oh, I'm gonna have to make him a really nice dinner. All this work that he probably didn't anticipate on this holiday weekend. And here he is on his hands and knees. Listen. Working with me. Listening? Listen. Yeah. There's something solid right there. Look. And it's not a pipe, right? It's not a pipe. It's kind of a stone. Oh, man. I'm going to get out of there. Give me some time. What is it? I don't know. But, uh, hey, you got to back up. This is red clay, so it's hard to dig in it. No, baby. I want daddy's working. You want my little garden shovel? Yeah. Can you do it for me? Yeah. Babe, it looks like a potato. Okay, so what's cool about this is this is a rock that does not belong here. I was just thinking, like, there's not been any other rock or any. Thank you for your help, Fee. Thank no. you. Thanks, so, Fiona. So, this is, could be very easily, I'm not making this up. I know about the whole Native American thing. Dub and Sharon have found a whole plethora of tools yeah. and artifacts from this from this hill. This here does not belong here. Now, it's, all, it's been broken off of something larger. But this, to me, is a perfect grinding like stone. Like a grinding stone. So it is a very some, odd shape. Uh, yes. You take some kind of a tool or some kind of a, a, a herb or whatever, and this could be used huh. to have a larger stone, and you grind them together. How Hold crazy. Hold on to that. I'm going to keep digging here a little bit. Move, baby. I got to How work. weird. Right? Isn't that cool? 
So that rock does not belong here, obviously. That's no, we've never found any rocks digging so, here. In case you're curious, we have a lot of red clay, a little bit of iron ore, but even iron ore rocks are tiny pebble type yeah. rocks, not big things like that right there. And this is weird that even they want to dig here. It is strange. What does that tell you? In that same spot, baby. How weird. She hasn't done this anywhere else. Ever. Well, they don't dig. No. What the world? What do you find, baby? Tell me it's not a dead body. <laughs> That's not a petrified bone. That would be that would be terrible. It's like a big toe. You ever heard that story? No. What are you talking about? A scary story about a big toe. No. Okay. Uh, you want me to tell you the story on a video? Sure. Okay. Well, are you done with this whole like I complained or you're gonna keep looking? Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna dig well, all your yard. Well, I think up. Millie's gonna keep looking. But Look at how curious she is right now. Lester, this is really weird. Okay, well, we already know, babe, that this whole hill was had a lot of Native American activity on it, and so... Uh. <laughs> they both went in that hole. What? <laughs> Fiona, you big galoot. She just almost did a somersault right over top of Millie, trying to beat her to whatever the heck's down there. What on earth? I think that we should just let sleeping dogs lie, as they say. Yeah. We're not going to go excavating looking for artifacts. No, no, so, I wasn't, but I just... You want to leave that when they're in the hole? Yeah, I think I should. I think okay. that I should leave it where I got it. We'll just plant your tree around it. So to the to all of you spirits, if this was your place, we're going to put it we're right We're going to put it right back. It. We're going to let the dogs not disturb it anymore. Don't move. I'm just going to loosen. I'm going to just kind of loosen the soil up here where we're about to plant. How okay. crazy. Uh-huh. Right. Oh, you dropped it. We're going to put the petrified toe back in there. <laughs> Maybe it's really a potato. A petrified <laughs> potato. Either uh, way, it's going need, back in. And I need potting soil. I'm going to get it. Yep. A lot of help today. A whole lot of help. Tilly, don't even think about eating it. Oh, boy. I guess I'll get this soil over here. Get going with it. Okay. Tilly, that's not for you. Tilly! Tilly, you're about to become a goat faster than you planned on it. Tilly? Tilly! Hey, no, ma'am. No. Go fight with dad. This is not for you. Tilly? You're gonna have a goat vacation. Thank you. Stand it up and get away. No, Tilly. Hey, stop it, Lester. Come get your goat. Lester. Hey, get her. She's gonna tear your tree she up. She's gonna tear me up. Ah, Tilly. Tilly. What kind of exorcism are you performing here? Stop it. Why this one? Out of all the other ones, this one. Tilly, hey, leave mom alone. She's working. Come on. Come on. There you go. All right. The trees are in. The only thing that we didn't get in today is the fig trees because we're still just unsure. I want to do a little bit more research about them. It says they get about 10 foot wide, about 10 foot tall. And to me, they appear to be like a shrub. Like they would kind of look like this. But I want to know more because... What Lester's worried about is, and I agree, we need to be able to mow and not have to like be blocked off. So that might not be the right place for them, but the rest of the trees are in and they're beautiful and everyone's intrigued, super intrigued. So we'll get these up. My other ones are coming. Oh boy, oh boy, what's on my, hold Wait on. the camera lens. We will keep watering these. We will get stakes put in and get these uh get these growing good get them fertilized tomorrow i'll figure out some more things about the figs and then the rest of the ones that i have ordered should be here in a week or so and that would make our third layer third you know this is one this is two and the third outer ring of uh our orchard and i am pretty excited about it now if we could get fruit in more than i don't know five years. <laughs> That'd be stellar. Yeah.